You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. But, oh, you want me to fly yeah. solo? Hey, this is Michael and my mute friend Dominic. That's me. From Maximum Threshold, and we're here with drummer extraordinaire Jason Bittner. How are you doing, Jason? I'm doing excellent. How are you guys? Fantastic. It was good to see um, you guys play. Um, we were of the belief that you were filling in with um, Anthrax for some reason. I think Dom was smoking some crack on the way. That would be t- today. Today on this tour, I am not playing in Anthrax. However, there's still a Shadows Fall member in Anthrax. It's John who's filling in right now. Do you think they should change the name to Shadow Thrax? I think they should change the Shad Thrax. That's that we've already that's already been discussed quite a quite a few times. So if, if there's ever any gigs where Charlie can't do again and John's still in the mix, then if there's two of us, then it's definitely got to be like Shad Thrax or something. Is there is there any chance of anybody from Anthrax filling in in Shadows Fall? Well, you know, not for nothing, I was going to call Mr. Bellow and see if he could play bass with us on this run because we almost needed a bass player, but. <laughs> Stranger things could happen, you know? Have you guys, have between you and the guys in Anthrax, have you ever double dutch jump roped with your singer's dreadlocks? No, but I've got them caught in my drum hardware quite a few times, and unfortunately back in the old salad days when, when we were coming up, there was quite a few times we'd have to, you know, share those hotel rooms, six dudes to a room, and got quite a few slaps in the face with them to share a bed. God, get those goddamn dirty things off me, will you? So, out of all the, all the six dudes who had the stinkiest balls... I never smelled anybody else's. Mine was smelly enough, so Don, Don probably won. I'm gonna I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna leave no comment on this one. Probably probably me because I'm the drummer and I'm the guy sitting down in his, his own sweat all the time. Don, Don wants to know because like he likes the ball sweat. <laughs> yeah. So so which which guy in the band is most likely to have sex with a post op passable tranny? Not one that looks like that girl in the leather vest. Over Mikey there. T. Right uh-huh. there. This one. Here you. The, the latest bass player. He would be the the guy that would do that. You just got sold out that you would be the guy in the band most likely to sleep with a post. Stop tranny. What do you think about that? A passable one, like a hot chick that has a man-made vagina. Like a man-made lake like Lake Mead. What do you think about that? I'm not going to lie. They know me too well, so I'll plead the fifth. Vagina. <laughs> Maybe it might have been Ed, our last bass player, considering that. Didn't he get propositioned in San Francisco by a training? Actually, Ed did get propositioned by a guy on a bike. Well, I mean, uh, pre-op guy. By a guy on a bike, do you mean How a do you know? With How a do you, penis? Let me, let me ask well, a kickstand doesn't make you, you know, a bicycle. First of all, let me ask him a question. How does he know he was a pre-op? Yeah, How do you know that? That's a good question. He is pedaling <laughs> with a skirt. <laughs> turn, didn't it? <laughs> Dom's licking his lips over here. So be- I was thinking, I was thinking of um, some Mexican food. So where can we find all the info about Jason Bittner and Shadows Fall and your new bass player and his training proclivities? Uh, you can find us all at www.shadowsfall.com, Facebook Shadows Fall, Twitter Shadows Fall Band, me, I'm jasonbittner.com, J. Bittner Drums on Twitter, Mikey's other band, and Ryan's band, Shred of Salvation. You got a website or are you too cheap to afford one? Uh, we're on Facebook. You can uh, find us there. Yeah, you're on Facebook with every other billion band out there. So what, um, you, just, got, you can I, find Mikey at the training club. I got, I got a question for you. This came from um, Chris from um, Classic Metal Show. He wanted to ask me, how, can you talk about your time in crisis? Sure. You want to know a little bit about how was it like being... Uh, I did. I did Crisis after for one period when I when I had left Stigmata in the, in the uh, mid '90s. After I, we did the Hymns for an Unknown God record, we kind of fell apart. So I was looking for something and at that time. You know, I just got a call from Abzal, and, and I I worked with those guys from late '97 or well, mid '97 through through '98. I was on the Halloween record. I played three songs on that. Um, did the European tour with the Squad Monsters and then did the subsequent tour in the States with Fu Manchu and then just, you know, kind of just did my own thing, separated and went, went my own way. I went back to Stigmata. You know, Crisis was cool for the time and, you know, I enjoyed playing that band, but, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't where my head was at, you know, at that time. And just the, 
the whole trend, you know, having to do the traveling from Albany where I lived to New York City was was a lot too. I mean, I still do it with Shadows Falls. Like I went from having a three and a half hour commute to only an hour and forty five minute commute. So that's a lot better. But you know, yeah, at the time, you know, it, it was it, it had its time, and then I moved on. Here you go. More you have? Um. If you could be a tree, what kind of tree would you be? I would be an oak tree. Okay. So, who's your favorite Ghostbuster? Uh, Dan Aykroyd. Bill Murray. All right, right answer. Drummer's always right. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> So since we last talked to you, I love doing interviews for you guys. <laughs> since we last talked to you, you gave us you gave us your shitting technique on the tour bus. Have you shared it with your new bass player or newest no, bass player? He's been, he's oh, been I on, experienced it. He's been on, he's been on a number of tours. He's usually standing where he is. So he's been with us for quite some time. He knows all the rules. He knows all the. You got any fun shitting stories? Yeah. The new rule is do not get 911 wings at Hooters on your day off. With Matt, because you might wake up with a bus rolling at about 80 miles an hour and not be able to stop. Yeah. That's when you're doing the hot that bag. That last story, was that the, I had to shit in a bag for, I couldn't believe that I finally had to shit in a bag after all these years? Yeah. We yeah. told, we told uh, Rob Dukes to watch out for flying shit from your bus. <laughs> Yeah, but the sad part was I didn't throw it out the window. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't toss it. Been better. We were, were you like letting it marinate. No, no. I, I actually, I literally threw it out in my garbage can at my house. When it happened, we were like 20 minutes from my house. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! I can't. 20 more minutes. Oh, I know. Dude. And there was nowhere to throw it. So I'm like, I just left it in the bathroom. I'm like, well, I'll fucking throw it out in the garbage can when I get home. Yeah, that's happened. Like I, I used to live like a mile away from Walmart, and there were times I would have to stop on my way home and do the dirty. It, it happens. happens. Fuck yeah. It happens. <laughs> yeah. Can't did, control did it. Did you ever have a fucking explosive fucking DEFCON 5 shit all over your fucking drum throne? No, not all over the drum throne. All over the toilet. Australia. Two years ago? Oh, man. It just... It was bad. Let's just say thank God that there was a shower very close by. Like, literally, like... And then you were in the shower, so it was all right. So how, how long have you been in the band? Uh, in the band? 72 hours. <laughs> well, I, said, I said, how long has he been in the band, not how much longer he will he be no. in the band? No, well, first of all, he's not even in the band. Oh, permanently. He's got to put out. We don't right? really know who the fuck the bass player is permanently. I put it this, I bet you know. He's been in the band technically, let's see. Uh, the first practice was Wednesday, right? <laughs> Was that? What? The, the tw- He's been in since March 26th. Damn. So, is is it true that you got the gig because you have a sweet ass? I didn't. Well, I do have a sweet ass, but I, I really haven't guaranteed myself a spot as a gig. But I have been touring with these guys for a while, and these guys, uh, not to be sappy, these guys are they, my, some great friends of mine. How did and I let the merch guy in on my interview? Did they make you buy their own shit? Absolutely. Do you get like one one new free shirt for every tour? Oh, free, free download. Oh, no. Free download. Oh, no, I I had to pay to play on stage with these guys. Did they? Did they? Is it true? He they has to pay for all the gas. Did, did you? Did pay you? For the gas. Did you make? Did you, did you make him part of the band? Because he was giving shirts away to like chubby chubby girls for free for knobbers. He's smart. He doesn't do that. No, I, he, I was giving head away to the other band members. Yeah, he was he was giving knobbers away to the other band members. So what's how we got in the band? What's your technique? Teeth or do you? Do the hand thing and look up. No, you hand. always Texas tornado. <laughs> you always cup the balls. That's all you gotta know. Always cup the balls. And look up like Daddy, I'm lost. Can you help me? No, I guess they don't want to see me looking at them. Daddy, I'm lost. I just put I put my hair in my face so they don't they don't see any of the stubble. You know. You know, I, I'm trying to conduct a musical interview here, and you guys are just. We bobbing. actually hired him because he's got cool tattoos. It always helps. <laughs> Do they, do they? You obviously haven't looked down too close. I'm kidding. <laughs> do they? Do they turn your bass down, Jason Newstead style in uh, Metallica? Uh, oh, we, uh, put, we put his cabinet outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the injustice for Mike for uh, merch yeah, guy tour. Yeah, injustice for all tour exactly. Our, so, our bass, our, our mix sounds like injustice for all. So how long till you leave him in a city on purpose? How are you? Well, the, the funny thing is, uh, as the merch guy, I've been close to uh, missing bus call a couple 
times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, he has. But, yeah. And do you really think your um, signature is worth $10 on a drumstick? No, but somebody does because they keep flying off the table. All I'll say is this is the last one we have, and we had a big bag the other How day. How much extra is it if, to rub it under one of your oh, balls? It even smells like shit. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> How much to rub it on the gooch or the... Do you prefer to call it the gooch or the taint? <laughs> I've never referred to it. I've never heard it referred to as the gooch. Before. Well, he's Italian. And he it? calls it the gooch. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't the gooch like? Wasn't he like? What show was it? He in the seventh? Yeah. There you go. I was like, what was the gooch from? Different strokes. The bull. Right. Well, I'm Italian too, but it's still never heard it referred to as the gooch. Vintner, that sounds awfully German. I didn't say I was full Italian, half Italian. Well, actually, I, I tell people I'm 51 percent Italian and 49 percent Polish just to piss off my Polish grandparents. Oh. So was there a ski at the end of your name? There was a and you just hypnotic, to be honest with you. It was worse than ski. I, got, it got changed once my family came over here from the old country, let's say. Wow. But yeah, I do. it does get confused for German a lot. I do get that a lot. Oh, you're German, right? No. <laughs> no, I just wear this. I just wear this Nazi uniform for the hell of it, right? <laughs> So what do you prefer to call it, the gooch or the taint? <laughs> I've never heard it referred to as the goose before. Gooch. He said gooch, not goose. Yeah. <laughs> you thinking about yesterday. Well, the hotel. listen, you know I can't talk, you know I can't walk. You certainly can't I walk. certainly can't play bass. <laughs> <laughs> that must be one hell of a knobber you're given with the Texas uh, that's, tornado. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, man, you gotta, you gotta get your, work your way to the top some way. I guess so. I like to, I'd like to think that I'm, someday I'm going to fuck my way to the middle. You know, I don't need to get to the top. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah, well, hey, set your, set, your, set your goals high, man. Well, it looks like this guy with the Crocs wants to get your interview or your, your autograph. So let's, let's wrap this up. Why don't you tell us what the name of your other band is because you'll probably be back, back with them in about a week or so. Uh, I tried a Salvation out of Providence. On Facebook, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and anything you want to plug, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Aside from his anus? I can't, I, can't, I can't even breathe right now. Um, yeah, actually, I do, I do have something to plug. Plug, plug, plug. In case no one is aware and in case no one's really familiar, I'm also doing a new, new project right now. I'm playing with a band called Toxic from the 80s. T-O-X-I-K. They're a progressive thrash metal band. I put two, uh, two records out on Road Racer, which I really, really dug them many, many years ago. And they got back together doing a reunion record, and I'm doing the record with them. Cool. So that's about it. That's the only other thing to plug aside from plugging his anus, I guess, with this stick. Why would we do that? Oh, and then please, we'll make it 15 those, bucks. You need one of those fat butt cans to plug that shit. Do you, uh, do you go in dry, or do you do you like a little lube? I like lube, man. Oh, you, know, you got wine and dime me. Do you spit, or, spit or do you want like Astro Glide? Astro Glide Spit is just, it spits a lube. That's all I'll say. Spits a lube. All right, there, it's official. Spits a lube. Just a tip, right? Just a tip. Push it back if you get it. It's only gay if you push it. Bag, just so you know. Oh, okay, Dutch, Dutch now rudders you, now are you gay. tell me. What's that? There's nothing wrong with a Dutch rudder. Damn, you push back. <laughs> Feel the donkey punch, you're screwed. <laughs> and don't swallow, because that's definitely gay. Because why? Because that's definitely gay. Uh, spin back is bad. Uh, and snowballing is definitely out of the question. Now, I don't care if you're gay, be gay. I don't care. You know? I'm, I'm not. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. You know, like if, if balls come across your nose, you know, the goots ain't too far behind. <laughs> so this, we'll wrap this up. This is this is Mike, Michael from Maximum Threshold. I got Dom, my silent partner, and Mike, right? Mike T. Mike D or T? T. Mike T. Mike T. For Tithead. <laughs> Mike T. Mikey T. Mag. Mikey, yeah, Mikey, Mikey T-Bag. Mikey T-Bag. And Jason Bittner from Shadows Fall, Toxic, um, and Shred of Salvation. There you go. I'm not. He's not Shred. No, no. Mike, Mikey T-Bag. I played him in one band. Mikey T-Bag's in, in Shred of Salvation. Right, there you go. He's not, in, he's not in Toxic with you. No. He's not allowed. He's pretty, he is pretty Toxic, but... I've sang Toxic at, at uh, karaoke, but that's about it. What's your go-to song at karaoke? Toxic. I will survive. Toxic. Britney Spears. Toxic. Huh? It's hitting those highs, man. 
Did you, did you grab your balls when you hit the highs? You or? have to fucking smash them on the table first. I know a guy who does that. <laughs> we won't talk about his man. <laughs> guy. That's okay. You can talk about it. No one's listening. No, no, we can't. No, we can't. We're not live. Nope. Nope. It'll be a dark day before I talk about that man. That's right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, that was a hint. All right, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, as always, dude. A pleasure. Oh, boy. You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.